it's Tony and welcome back to my Monday motivational moment. Every Sunday I think of, okay, so what am I going to film for motivational Monday? And I was thinking about things that have happened this past week. Usually I draw on experiences that I've had and what would I want to do to motivate myself? So I was thinking this past week, I've had a lot of people coming and asking me about keto, making better choices and what we eat. Cause some people admit they can't do the keto. There's no way they can give up bread and sugar. And I totally understand that it is hard. So we come up on other things like cutting back, trying to eat healthier things. My husband this past week had a colonoscopy and actually I will put a card here linking to that video, but he had a colonoscopy and he decided since he went through that whole prep work where he had to give up the bad foods for a few days, you know what? He's going to go ahead after the colonoscopy and start on keto. He's been wanting to do keto for a while, but he finally got to that point where he's like, okay, you know what? It is time. So I decided I'm going to do this motivational video on getting yourself motivated to make these changes in your life. It's not so much a diet. I hate the word diet because as Garfield said, it's diet, it's die with a T at the end of it. It's more really about a lifestyle change. We are changing habits. This is something that you pretty much have to do for the rest of your life. You can't, you know, change your eating habits. And then once you get to your goal, decide, okay, I'm going to go back to eating the Big Macs, the cheesecakes, because guess what? You're going to get back to where you started. And I'm sorry if I constantly keep doing this. There's this hair that will, it just keeps driving me nuts. So anyway, okay. So lifestyle changes. I tell people when they want to do this, and this doesn't just apply to changing your eating habits. This applies to other things in life. Maybe you need to start exercising. Maybe you want to start, I don't know, a lot of other things that apply to. So anyway, so three weeks. I tell people, give yourself three weeks, okay? Because once you start changing a habit, it's going to take some time for it to actually start sticking. There's different, people say different numbers, 20 days to 30 days, but somewhere in that timeline, that's how long it takes for a good habit to start sticking with you. And that's because for like in my case, pretty much a lifetime of bad eating habits. When I started eating healthier, your body starts rebelling. Your body's like, whoa, what are you doing? Where's the cheesecake? Where's the Big Macs? I want my food. I want what I'm used to. Okay. Lifetime of habits, bad habits. And I'm trying to change them. It's like your kids. Okay. When you try to get your kids to do something and they've always done another way, what do they do? I don't want to do it it's hard okay yeah but you know what you gotta stick with it and eventually they'll learn and they won't whine about it so much this is your body whining to you this is your body having a fit give it three weeks after three weeks you should start seeing some improvement you're gonna take that and that is going to motivate you that body positivity or mental positivity is going to motivate you to go further on in this journey now it is really, really hard to do things better for your body, to lose the weight or to be healthier. But what we need to understand is we did this to ourselves. You have got to face up to it and you have got to admit to yourself, I did this. It wasn't, you know, especially as an adult, because you're in charge of your food. You can choose whether or not to make that. Well, you know, I really didn't have time or I was just too tired or I, I didn't have the money for healthy food. You know what? You can eat better. It doesn't have to be expensive foods. You have to find a way. You have to find the time and research it and find a way to do it within your means, your budget, whatever. But the most important thing is you have to face up to it. And I think for me, that was the hardest part. Owning up to it. I did this to myself. I did this to myself. I stopped eating somewhat healthy. I started, well, I stopped exercising and I know I had a kid, I had a full-time job, a single mom, all that sort of stuff, but you know what? There were things I could do. I have gotten to this point where I do things to try and get some exercise in. I don't do the usual exercise that I used to do when I was 20 something years old. I find other ways to incorporate it brushing my teeth. I do those little tippy toes raises on my feet. Okay. That's going to work my calf muscles. I'll do some squats. You know, as I'm laying down in bed, I can do some crunches on the bed. You find a way to incorporate it. Okay. Maybe I'll park a little further and walk. Or when I walk, I make sure that I use all of my leg muscles. I don't just shuffle my feet. You need to find a way. 
Okay, once you admit things to yourself and really, really look at yourself in the mirror and admit this stuff to you, say it out loud. When you say it out loud, you know, we can think it all we want, but when we say it out loud, it's like, oh my God, okay, I said it out loud. Then you can start moving forward. You are the one person who can change your life for the better. Doesn't matter if you meet somebody who has money who's going to take care of you for the rest of the life. If you're not feeling good inside, you're not going to be happy. Okay? You need to make that change. You are worth it. As I tell my kids, nobody's going to take care of you the way you take care of you. It's an investment into yourself. Okay? I know now, a year later, I've lost 60 pounds. Every now and then, you know what? I'm going to have a taste of a cheesecake. I'm going to have a taste of a pizza. I'm going to do this because I can afford to do this, but I know I can't do that all the time or else I'm going to be back where I was. And I didn't like that. I didn't like the way I feel. Now I feel healthier. I feel better. I can do things that I couldn't do before. I can go shopping and actually buy some cute clothes, which that has not happened in a long time. Okay. I'm doing it for myself. You can do it for yourself, but you need to take that time and energy and invest it in yourself. So many times we're so focused on everyone else that we're not investing in ourselves. And you need to take care of yourself because you cannot give the best of yourself if you don't feel like you're giving yourself the best of yourself. Give the best of yourself to you, okay? Uh, my scream saver on my phone is this Wonder Woman comic by Valentine Barker. And I look at my phone whenever I, I'm tempted to eat something bad. I look at my phone and I see the men message it says. It's pretty much a message about triumph. And I'm like, you know what? That's right. That's right. I can do this. I'm in charge of myself. Wonder Woman here motivates me every day. That's why I have her there. Because when I leave this room, I think to myself, be Wonder Woman. You need to find that motivation. Have it be a picture of your kids on your screensaver on your phone. Put a picture of your kids at work. Something that is going to motivate you to make those good choices. Okay? It is hard. It is. But trust me, if you start investing in yourself, the payoff is amazing. It definitely is. We got this, people. We have all the tools we need to make these changes. We just need to start utilizing them, okay? We need to stop taking the easy way out, and we need to actually start working towards what's important in life. Because like I said, everything that is important in our lives is worth working for. You want that good job? You got to work for it. You want a good marriage? You know what? You got to work for it. You want your kids to be good people, you got to put some time into it. When we don't put time and we're just like, eh, bad results come. Bad results come. Sometimes we get lucky. Sometimes we get lucky and we meet that perfect person and we land that perfect job. Our kids are just great on their own. But most of the time you got to work for it. Okay. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. You're going to love the results. And if you happen to fail, because there will be many failures in this, you learn as you go. You pick yourself back up and said, okay, you say to yourself, what did I learn from this? Because we learn a lesson in everything we do. What did I learn from this? When I was doing keto, I learned to keep it simple. I keep it simple. I keep my food simple. I don't do all these fancy fake sugars or fancy recipes because you know what? I learned that is actually really bad for me. It does not work for me. So yeah, I enjoyed all the, those keto cookies, cheesecakes, all that sort of stuff. But you know what? I got sick. The fake sugar makes me sick. I itch all over the place. I'm allergic to, to it, I believe. So I learned I can't eat that. I learned my lesson and I move on. And I found a way to enjoy what I was eating because food is fuel. Food is fuel. It's like your car. You're going to put good gas in it. You're not going to go to this one gas station that you heard that waters down their gas, are you? No, because you know that's going to be horrible for your car. Okay, I had to learn. I have to give myself the good food. I can't be eating that bad food because bad things are going to happen to me. I had to make that investment in myself. That's what you have to think of. You have to change the way that you think about things. Give yourself 
I, I'm a big person on mottos, mantras, that sort of stuff. And I tell myself all the time, you got this, you can do this. I'm constantly telling myself this stuff because I have to psych myself up and eventually I will get there. I am getting there. I hope you all get there too. This has been my Monday motivational moment. And remember, you got this. Bye.